Let's see. I already looked at that. That's all good, Rox. Uh, I won't say Roxas, <laughs> but I guess either way it works. Sora, just come on back when well, I'll be here. If anything, I'll probably do another stream later, anyhow. The residential area is beyond here. Gosh, he's not a quiet fella, is he? Must be rather large as well. You're not planning on having all three of us go in there, are you? You want to fight them all by yourself? No, not at all. That's crazy, totally reckless. You know, Mr. Claw, I think you forfeit any points you earn if you, uh, die. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, hey, wait up! Poor kid. We hardly knew him. There it is. The Market Salamander. So monster, all right. Are you positive about this, Mr. Claw? Like I have a choice. Whoa, this thing is huge. Watch you don't get crushed. We cannot run away from this one. Okay. Yeah, there's that question I gotta attack these things. Hang on! His foot arm was off! I get it now! That's a Mark VIII Salamander! If we can manage to break the shackles on its legs, then the shield on its back will open up! Let's hurry up and break the other shackles! Yes, sir, Mr. Robot, sir! Trying to target the right thing. This is what you get. Oops. Not the one I was going for, but that works. Do you like it? Jump on the back of those monography platforms and you can get up on the back of the beast. Here you go, big man. Why don't you take this for now? When the platform disappears, just shoot up another one. But that remember, is a big one. You must equip the monography shot first big old before monster. you can use it. Now's your chance. Go get him, Mr. Claw. Oh, ah, come on. There we go. Ah, I missed it. <laughs> Good job, me. Be still now. 
Won't hurt, I just won't hurt a bit. Uh oh. Okay. Let's see. Change equipment. I need to heal too while I'm at it. Ah! I gotta use the uh, timing on these jumps again. Gotta aim for those platforms. Did that do it? Nope. I'm afraid not. But you're almost there. Is the battle recorder ready? That kind of beast will net you heaps of points. Make sure you get it all on tape. What? You mean this? Oh, now that is a well-used recorder. Use that to record your battle with the beast. And later on, you can turn it in for points. Now finish off the beast by yourself. After all, it's your prize. All right. And here goes. It's hard here to goes. stop, but it's still being controlled by the power of the rune. Destroy the rune in its head. Oh, come on. Like a legendary hunter needs your help. Hmm. I get the feeling he sort of does. I wonder why. Is he really Desert Claw? I suppose looks can be deceiving. A real master doesn't need to show off. He may not look it, but he's got the goods. Oh, got a block. Ow! Jerk. Oh. Alright. I got a block better. Come on. Oh. oh, crap. Fire is bad. Let's see. Cure's frozen. I need to heal better. Now we need to recover. Oh! Gosh darn it. We got fire again, Archie. Ugh! Got him. Right in the head. Hooray! Ha ha! You did it! That's a desert claw! You're the real deal! Just as I thought, his potential may be greater than my own. So listen, Mr. Claw, you got a real name or something? Huh? Huh? Oh yeah. I'm Jaster. Jaster Rogue. Jaster, eh? Good. Yeah, it's a bit weird to keep calling you Desert Claw. So from now on, if it's all right with you, I'm just gonna call you Jaster, okay? Now, let's get down to business. I'll be straight with you. Our boss says he wants to hire you. Would you come with us? Hire me? What? Why me? Good grief, isn't it obvious? 
Your Desert Claw, the legendary bounty hunter. And our boss, well, he wants to be a part of that. Let's just say he's scouting you for our team. These guys still think I'm someone named Desert Claw. That means he must be Desert Claw. I had no idea he was such a big deal. What is it, Jaster? Are you feeling all right? I'm a little uh, parched. Yeah, I'm fine. So who is it that wants to hire me exactly? <laughs> Our boss, Captain Dorgan Goa, a pirate among pirates. What? Dorgan Goa? The space pirate Dorgan Goa? You mean you guys do space travel? I like how they just nod their of heads. <laughs> We're big time pirates. We travel all over the galaxy. I mean, hunting has its moments, but tracking down immense treasure throughout the universe isn't half bad. Me. Up in space. Yeah. I can see that. Not half bad at all. Our ship is hidden in the desert to the west of here. <laughs> Why don't you meet up with us there? In the desert? Well, you know, we had a couple of minor issues, and we couldn't actually dock at the spaceport. But look, we'll head back to the ship first. You come meet us there before tomorrow morning. All right? All right. Ta-da! Hey, wait a minute. I haven't decided yet. Oh, you'll be there, all right. I can see it in your eyes. You are made for the pirate life. Arr. To find our ship... <laughs> You need to take the west gate and head straight over the desert. Please be sure to prepare for your journey before setting out. We'll be seeing you later. Ta-ta! 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 I love these tutorials. They're like, hey, by the way, here you go. <laughs> it's like warning me. Be sure you have money so you can actually continue the story. Don't be stupid and spend the money. You know, I don't remember all the voice actors they did in this game. I know, uh, I know Steve Bloom's in the game. I know he plays one of the characters you'll meet later. Uh, but I'm not sure about everybody else. I would have to go look it up again and find out, uh, who else was in this game. Well, starting out, honestly, I couldn't tell you much about the backstory to the game right away. It's been so long since I played this game, I'm still a little rusty with it. Even at the beginning of the game, they don't really give you a whole lot to go on, except for, you know, you got an empire and you got basically wars going on right now. It's pretty much a cinch of it. Hey, look at that. I'm ranking 96. Sweet. Check out some of these names. Russ Stormy. Great Gray. <laughs> oh my goodness. Far Cry I, I think that's saying that right. Mosquito Dubai. Mr. Salamander. Tron Burn. Bunch of interesting ones. 
I, I, what else was he in? I know of a... That name sounds familiar. Will, Will Friedel, if I'm saying that right. Morgan Fries. Makes them feel all young and tingly. Y'all don't want to know what makes me feel young and tingly. <laughs> okay, it's playing video games, but... Ah, gaming is fun. Good times. Let's see what we got here. Do a little bit of shopping before I move on. Those space pirates. Are they really? Oh, we gotta recover. That use this whole oh, crap. I screw that up. Sheep O. <laughs> Sheep. Oh, hello. Oh, that's right, this is the uh, old weapon stuff. I don't think this stuff's worth it right now. Move on. It was outside the western gates, right? You're right. But something we want to do first. So hold your horses there, Jasper. Let me see. Teleport. There's a chest over here, I'm, I think. It, I must have missed earlier. Those space pirates. Are they really... That or more chest added, I didn't realize it. Oh, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. I got it anyway. That was Captain Dorgan. That was how huh? not to uh, open a chest with a trap. By the way, that that was the lesson learned. Sounds like things have calmed down out there. Yeah, but it was a bit more tough than usual. I'm glad you're okay. Me too. But listen, 
Raoul. What is it? Uh, never mind. What's going on, Chester? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Raoul. Hey. I'm really on the bright side, at least it was not a mimic. Me abandoned on the church steps and raised me to be who I am today. What's all this about? Are you okay? Did you hit your head? Well, I'm heading out. All right. I see you, Chest. I see you over there. Jaster, wait. Wait, there's a chest over there. Hmm. Silly, Jaster. It was outside the western gates, right? Alright, I think we're good to go. Go ahead and move on to, uh... story here. Hey! Hello, Rudolph. Just in time for the season. <laughs> yeah! Mimics and Dark Souls are the thing of nightmares. Yeah. It makes you very afraid to attack or, well, to open any chest in Dark Souls. I wonder if they'll ever realize I'm not Desert Claw. It's like, hey, there's a chest over there, but it, it might be a mimic. Might just be a mimic. Fuda. Jester. Uh, Raoul, what are you doing here? Thought you could just leave without saying anything? I'm sorry. I didn't want you to try to stop me. Me? Stop you? I... I want to leave this planet and travel through space. I want to see new things and learn about this vast galaxy we live in. It's been my dream since I was little. Come on, Raul. What do you say? Oh, Terry, goodbyes. I'm sorry, Raul. Thank you so much for raising me and taking care of me. Well, I'm off. Wait. I always knew this day would come. Do you remember when you were just a boy? We'd always look up at the stars together. Yeah. Of course I remember. <laughs> We'd gaze up at the stars and talk about outer space. You know, Raul, I've made up my mind. I want to go into space one day. Really? And what would you do out there? Huh? Well, um, I don't know. I don't know, but I still want to go, for sure. Can I roll? Huh? Can I? Of course you can, Jaster. You can do anything you want. Uh-huh. Right now, your eyes are shining just like they were back then. Self-assured, straightforward eyes. 
I don't think I could stop you if I tried. Go, Jester. But I want you to remember something. You're the only family I've got. From the moment I first held you, a crying little baby, 17 years ago, I've come to think of you as my son. And that, my boy, will never, ever change. I will. <laughs> I'll be waiting here for your return. Not for a jam. I'm sure it'll be a little lonely. Raul. Someday, I'm gonna save everyone on this planet. I can't let Rosa remain in slavery forever. Then I'll stay here, hoping and praying for your success. Take care of yourself, Jasta. That's one thing I love about level five's uh, games is they tend to they. They tend to uh, withstand the test of time better than most. I mean, I'll go back and look at Dragon Quest VIII, which they uh, developed for. That's all good, Wolf. That's all good. So that's Dorgan Goa's ship, huh? Now Marie can tell you she's and been in so comes the end quite a bit of my streams. Come down. Uh, I'll be leaving this. I'm planet. very open ended. I'm very open. You know, y'all do whatever y'all want. Me. I can feel it. And that's why I'm going into space. Space time. And by the way, we're just now getting to the opening. Just, yeah. <laughs> that was just the prologue. It's almost morning. Don't worry, when I do go on camera eventually, I'm not gonna sit here with no shirt on or anything. Hey, Jester! I'm not Over that here, carefree. Big man. <laughs> Oh, poor, that poor thing. Speaking of mimics, that kind of reminded me of one. <laughs> Big old sharp teeth. Well, it's not a mimic. It's just a giant, ugly, same creature.
Don't drop him. Don't drop him. That was a close one. <laughs> Who are you? Now that's what I call a close shave! Seeing monsters that big and ugly nearly sent me into a tailspin myself! We didn't mean to leave you out there like that. We fully intended to come back for you later, I swear! Sure you did. Matter. I got saved in the end. Listen, that girl back there... You mean Kasala? Wow, you sure don't waste any time! That's Desert Claw for you. Listen, though, don't you be getting any ideas, big man. <laughs> to tell you the truth, she's... <laughs> so this is the guy. The legendary hunter, Desert Claw. Are you... Captain Dorgan Goa? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I do plan on doing Witcher 3 soon. I've been trying to decide when I want to start Allow it. Me to introduce Zegram Gart, the Black Wolf. He's a bounty hunter handpicked by our boss, like you. He's skilled all right, but he's got a big job on him. Says he's a lone wolf. I think he just doesn't have any friends. I hate teaming up with small fries. Never expected Desert Claw to be such a youngster. Guess you can't trust rumors, can you? Anyway, nice to meet you, Desert Claw. A little bit of background on my end. When I first started playing this game, so I was still a huge a fan Claw? of <laughs> of Cowboy Bebop and Wait, quite a few other animes you're... out there who had him in it, the voice actor. So immediately when I heard his voice, I was like, oh, oh, it's, it, uh, <laughs> it's Spike. It's the still you know, oh, yeah. He can be such a pain. Oh, he's a. The Desert Claw has a shrewd look. He's about been in a him. lot of things, though. That's what the captain would have said. I'm sure. Every time I hear his voice, I just know it's him. When the captain's not around. I'm the one in charge. And Desert Claw or not, you'd better follow orders. You got that? Uh, okay. Excellent. Now that that's out of the way. You're an official crew member on the Dorganok! All right, now that we have the legendary hunter Desert Claw on our side, <laughs> nothing can stop us! The treasures of the universe are ours for the taking! sorts of things like what what kind of things do you mean i've never been myself so i don't really know oh raul you're no fun <laughs> i'm sorry about that i happen to like this planet as long as i can live here i'll be satisfied really then i want to go into space 
I want to explore the galaxy and see what it's like out there. Oh, really? I'm sure you will one day. Yep, and I bet it will be super cool. And when I come super back, cool. I'll tell you all about it, Raul. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. So, what do we do now? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Now we head for Zerard. Zerard? Goodness, haven't you heard of it? It's very advanced. The most civilized planet in the galaxy. So, why are we going there? We've got some important business there. Dorgan Ark, full speed ahead! Aye, aye. <laughs> Your instructions will follow. Now I've got some lunch to eat, so if you'll excuse me, I'll be seeing you all later. Meow. You can take it easy too, Mr. Rogue. Perhaps you'd like to have a look around the ship while we're in transit. Good idea. I mean, after all, this place is your home now, isn't it? Alright. I'm going to walk around and explore a little bit. Uh, I do have to uh, jump off the stream for a little bit in about 15 or so minutes. So we'll do this as a wrap up. Kind of the whole walk around, explore and stuff. Technically speaking, we're still chapter 1 here. Oh no, I have chapter 2. <laughs> yeah, the cat's crazy. I, I laughed my ass off when I first got to this part but when I was younger. When I got to this part, I laughed my ass off seeing the cat's cat. And I was like, are you serious? Are you? <laughs> like, is this not what you're, not what I was expecting at all? Well, Mr. Rogue? What do you think? Huh. I like it. The Dorgan Ark may be a little old, but it's still the best in the galaxy. Whenever I leave the ship, I can't wait until we get back so I can take the helm again. The best in the galaxy. I like the sound of that. Very good. By the way, can I ask you something? Of course, what is it? Why is Dorgan Goa? Scouting out all of these great hunters. He must oh, have something always. in mind. Always good times. Well, um, uh, maybe you'd better ask the captain yourself. It's not really my place to say. Yeah, I figured as much. I mean, Dorgan Go is going so far as to scout hunters from all over the universe. But for what purpose? Say, we're about to pass through the Rose Nebula. Why don't you go up on deck and take a look? Best seat in town. I've opened the locks on the deck hatch. You can get there from the lower staircase. Got it. I'll check it out. Looking round. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there you go, uh, Wolfgang. Yeah, you know, I was actually thinking the exact same thing for a minute. It's like, like, can I ask you something? No, no, you can't ask me anything. You want, you want to go turn around and tell somebody that when they actually come up to you and ask you that question? It's like, tell them no. Of course not. Elevator going up. Oh, twitchy camera. People 
Let's see. Shit must be from all sorts of planets. I think I completely missed where I was supposed to go. The Lowe's Nebula. I guess I'll go back up the elevator again. Before. Right? Right. Alright, let me look around here a minute. That's the stage. Oh, okay. The store back here, I bet. Forgot to yeah. thank that girl. All right, ready for a cutscene? We're ready for a cutscene. Oh no, Namari's ready. Thanks for saving me earlier. Oh, it was nothing. Not bad, huh? That's because I'm a pirate, too. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh. I always pictured Desert Claw as someone a little more intimidating. Huh? But you've got awfully pretty eyes. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> you sure don't look uh. like a battle-hardened hero. In fact, you uh, might just be a big huh, fake. Uh, um, I... Look! It's the Rose Nebula! What? <sighs> it's beautiful. love this place. I don't know why, but looking at the stars somehow calms me. Hmm. She must be calm 24-7. Same here. I've always wanted to be up in space. My dreams finally come true. <laughs> you sure don't sound like the galaxy's top bounty hunter. Well, uh, I mean... So what? I guess. My name's Kisala. Nice to meet you, Desert Claw. I'm Jaster. Jaster Rogue. <laughs> Hi. Jaster? Oh, right. Have you met Papa yet? Papa? My dad, Dorgan Goa. He's the captain of this ship. What? So, you're... Right. His daughter. Huh? What the? There's the question Just of the day for out. everybody. Ah. Is she adopted? Or did that cat actually do something to uh Come on, see if you can Alright. I'll leave I'll leave it at that. Oh, 
that might help me uh, change my equipment again. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Part of the reveal, I think the cat was masquerading. Come on, Jester, get below as, deck. But I, was, I, was, I think it was the fact that it was not was not the actual captain. I'm gonna have to double check on that. How did we let beasts get so close? Our radar's gone haywire at the worst <laughs> possible time. I'm telling you, when it rains, it pours. Listen. There's, um, something you all need to know. This ship has gone completely out of control. What? Steve! She doesn't have a cat tail, so... You have got to be kidding Throw that one out the window. Sorry. Bad. Very, <laughs> very bad. We're trapped in Jamaica's gravity field. Well, what do we do? I don't know. Whoa! We're gonna crash! We better find a nice soft forest to land in or it's curtains for all of us! I'd be most happy to! If only I could steer! Maybe they did that on purpose, throw you off and make you think that. Or did that make make the ribbon look like a, you know, make your eyes look there, look for that cattail. Oh, you see it. Oh, I it's just a ribbon. We Never for. mind. Ow. <laughs> I'm alive. We were supposed to go to Zalad, but just our luck, we've crash-landed on Jeraika of all places! whoop de doo So... This is Jeraika, the jungle planet. Well, can you fix it? Almost everything can be repaired right away, but the engine... 
This is definitely going to take some time. Oh, no! This is just fantastic. The fixes are no big thing, but we're all out of booster oil. You're kidding. Now what? There aren't any starship markets on Jerica. What are we supposed to do? Come on. That's no way for a bunch of space pirates to act. All right, listen up, you rank amateurs. That oil is made from the fruit of a particular tree that has highly flammable sap. Apparently, that fruit grows on a certain jungle planet. I think you get my drift. Of course, that's right. I remember now. The booster oil we need comes from this fire fruit that's harvested here on Jerica. If we can get a hold of some of that fruit, we'd be able to make more oil with it. Very good, Bolthead. Fire fruit, huh? Let's go. Simon, Steve, we'll leave the repairs to you. Aye, aye! Did we have to land on such a sweltering planet? <laughs> Cat's still knocked out. To avoid the dreaded game over screen. So you want I always thought they did a really good job with this particular game. I was really happy with this. I'm I'm a fan of it. I haven't played it in ages. Let's see. What we got here? Nothing I've got. <laughs> well, as of the story now, it's supposed to be that cat. But to be honest with you, I can't remember if that was a ruse or not. It's, it really has just been too too long since I played this game. I feel really bad for not remembering, but don't worry. We will find out in future episodes. We'll discover together. Or at least that's the idea. Hmm. Message. Alrighty. Now, there we go. Alright, everybody, this is where I'm going to go ahead and call it for now. At this save point right here. And this is where we'll pick up episode two when I come back. Now, I'm going to uh, post something on Twitter later. And I'm going to let you all decide, or help me decide. <laughs> uh, all right, Wolfgang, Nemory, everybody else who's in here, thanks for joining. I will return in a little while. So I'll see y'all later. Goodbye, everybody.